Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the cage system. What it is, how to use it, and some of the pros and cons of it. So what is the cage system? To understand the cage system, we first have to know these five chords right here. So let's do a quick review on these. Here's an example of all five of these on the guitar. So what the cage system is, is it takes our C major chord or A major chord, G, E, and D. Obviously that spells out caged, right? And what it does is it assigns these, these are all a shape now, okay? This is no longer just a C major chord, this is our C shape. This is our A shape. G shape, E shape, and D shape, okay? So when we think of these as shapes, what that allows us to do is take our C major chord right here, and we're going to play a C major chord in the A shape, in the G shape, the E shape, and the D shape, okay? So let's take a look at this across the entire fretboard now, so you can get a better understanding of it, okay? First up, we got our C major chord, or C shape. Well, that's just right here, okay? Now, I know this note really isn't in there, so we'll just exclude it for now, but this is the C major shape. Okay, so the next goal now is to play the C major chord using the a shape, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to treat this A shape as a, a bar chord, okay? Now, right now, the, the nut is kind of acting as our first finger would be. So what we have to do is take this, um, the root note right here, our red note, and shift it down, the whole position down, until we find another C. And where we find another C would be right here, the third, the third fret on the fifth string. Okay, so this is the shape right here. This is a C major chord using our A shape, all right? And like I said, we just this is a five string bar chord. So we just bar this and we have a C major chord. Here's an example on the guitar. Okay, so now we're going to continue on up the neck. We started with our C major chord, and then we played that C major chord using an A shape. Now we're going to do the same thing using a G shape, right? And that falls right here, because what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole shape and shift it up until we find a C in the uh, bass root note right here. And that happens on the eighth, the eighth fret of the sixth string, okay? Now, this is a pretty difficult chord to play, so what I usually do is I break it up into two chunks. The first chunk is right here on the left side where I usually just play these four, four notes, okay? I have my fourth finger here, my third finger here, and then I basically bar these two with my first finger. So here's an example of that on the guitar. Okay, so for the second half of the G, you can play these shapes right here. Basically what I do... We're going to ignore this green note down here because this is technically part of the E shape, right? Um, I bar these, I just basically bar this entire uh, fifth fret right here, and I have my, my fourth finger on the eighth fret right here. So here's an example of that on the guitar. Okay, so now we're going to look at the C major chord using our E shape, okay? And that comes down here. We're still hanging out at this, uh, the eighth string root note right here, or the eighth fret root note rather. And this is essentially just a six string bar chord. And we learned all about these already, okay? So this is a C major chord played using the A major shape, or the E major shape rather. So here's an example of that on the guitar. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to play our C major chord using our D shape, okay? And what we're just going to do is just take our lowest root note and shift it all the way up until we find a C. And that happens here on the, what's this, the 10th fret on the 4th string. Alright, and then we're going to play this shape right here. Now, I recommend barring everything here even though they're not played and then playing the rest of these. Um, or you can just play these three right here. It's either or, however you want to do it, really. It's both going to be a C major chord. It's kind of a different inversion of it. Um, 
So here's an example of the C major chord in the D shape. Okay, so that's the cage system in a nutshell. Basically what we're doing is we're taking our C major chord and playing it in an A shape, a G shape, all the way up and down the neck right here, okay? And we're not just limited to do the, the C chord, right? We can play an A major chord in the G shape, right? Or in the E shape, the D shape, whatever we want. We could take an F sharp major chord and play it in all these shapes, okay? That's the beauty of the cage system. Now, the cage system does have kind of a drawback, all right? These are all major chords. And if I wanted to apply the, the cage system to a minor chord, I would have to completely um, redo all these shapes. These would be completely brand new. And it's not that hard to do. And I'm kind of throwing the challenge out to you guys to do that and try to learn something new on your own without an instructor. So there you go, guys. That's what the cage system is, how to use it, and some of the pros and cons of it. Um, if you guys like this, this set of videos, uh, please like and subscribe. I will have more courses coming up. I'm going to be putting together different playlists of different courses, okay? So please like and subscribe. You'll get the notifications quicker. I'll see you guys later.